everyone welcome to the update of 7th august from today i am removing the outro or the end section and i'll be replacing it with a nugget piece of information today i'll be talking about microfinance industry what is happening because one of the stocks which is there in my portfolio hit a lower circuit of 20% today nikkei has danced more than 20 25% in the last 3 days yet in the 6 months gone by it has reduced 3% Also, contrary to our general feeling, Nifty in six months has gone up just eleven percent. It seems like Nifty has climbed a mountain. U.S. markets are looking okay in pre-opening. VIX is also down. Most of the stocks are looking good. Now, I talked about Amazon India yesterday. There is a news on Investing.com. Amazon has been down thirteen percent since the last earnings. I repeat, Amazon is not looking good. The next Fed meeting to discuss rate changes is due on September eighteen. This is a very good infographic from investing.com. There is 65% probability that the rates will be reduced to 4.75 to 5, which means markets are now factoring 0.5% rate cut. Note that markets will approach this date with this expectation, and if the expectation is not met, then there will be chaos. Then there will be bloodshed. Today, rare day, no sector down. The three biggest sectors were the best performers. Banks did well on the expiry day. Zomato back to winning up six point six six percent. The IT services company were doing okay. Also, volumes for the services companies are not that high. One of my favorites from previous days, Persistent. It was up four percent. It is still nowhere close to fifty two week high. However, this is yesterday's graph, not today. Nifty started gap up and then came down. Bank Nifty started gap up, came down. What happened today was Nifty started with a gap up, but then consolidated in a very small hundred point range for the day. Bank Nifty also started up, but then it consolidated in a very small range. This also was close to one fifty point range only, twenty four two hundred to twenty four three fifteen. These are amazingly narrow lanes for indices of the size of Nifty and Bank Nifty. Now no surprises. Nifty was up one point three five percent. Bank Nifty up percent. Good day after three bad days. Nifty IT also had a good day, one point five percent. Nifty Energy was up two percent, primarily led by the oil companies. Nifty Next Fifty three percent. That's the mid cap index. Nifty stocks actually partied very hard in the first minute itself, and after the indices actually did not go up much. However, Next Fifty kept getting better and better and better whole day. defense stocks after a long time up 4% as an index one thing which worries me a bit is that the buy value and sell value are becoming large the net value are becoming small most of the people see these values they don't see the huge amount of trading that is happening between fiis and dis every day some important news national stock exchange net profit jump 40% i've been saying this investment banking related all companies they will do phenomenally well as the rupee printing increases as the economy size increases as the gdp increases this is nothing of performance this is just sheer money becoming cheaper and every stock becoming more and more expensive finance minister finally said that the ltcg on real estate purchased erstwhile will be treated the same way it was before the budget a small victory perhaps for the people who own real estate this may change in the next budget however so people might get into selling of properties no one wants to wait probably till the next time government is planning to reduce lic stake by 5% they own 95% while 5% is not a big amount but it is bad news for lic the stock is not going anywhere till the sale completes in today's good market also bharti was down hul is tired it has been running for two straight days in bad markets so that was correcting but everyone else was up and up pretty well today gold also picked some steam 0.5% up however silver down a bit adrs are looking good bitcoin up rupee did not go anywhere rupee made a historic low yesterday brent up 2% finally the us crude inventory data is expected to be released soon that may decide how brent looks if the us inventories are low then suddenly there may be 3 4% upside movement on brent today most of the us stocks were looking okay yesterday also so i don't know about future but for now all the issues seem to have stemmed a bit so this is what i was saying tcs opened at the highest point of the day hdfc nearly opened at the highest point of the day same with sbi atl itc 
एच यू एल डाउन इन्फोसिस स्लाइड डाउन एल एन टी स्लाइट अप सो बेसिकली वॉट आई एम सेंग इज निफ्टी एक्चुअली ओपन नियरली एट द हाइएस्ट पॉइंट ऑफ द डे वेन डाउन वॉज चॉपी एंड क्लोज स्लाइटली अप ओनली फॉर द डे विक्स ऑल्सो क्लाइंड अप right in the beginning of the day and then came down considerably look at the banks towards the end bank of baroda kotak hdfc icici sbi pnb axis bank indusind which was down whole day that also so there was a huge short covering in the banking stocks towards the end of the day because of the expiry this reflected slightly in nifty also otherwise nifty might have closed in the red Jio was up most six percent. PFC, REC, they were up a lot. The bigger banks, however, were not up much. The fifty-two week line stays there. Some stocks have moved towards right a bit. Defense moved a lot today. HAL continues up. BL continues up. Musgaon Dock continues up after a long time. BDL, Cochin Shipyard, Solar Industries I have added today, but that was down. they are manufacturers of explosives grsc started down but then went up continuously data patterns up zen technology also is new this was also continuously up nearly every stock was up 4 5% i personally don't think most of these stocks will now reach their 52 week high again in the near future metals hindustan zinc was the only stock down hindustan copper is knocking at the door of 300 yet again Railway stocks. I was thinking of removing today, but everything was green, so I thought I'll retain it today. IRFC three percent up. Rail Vikas Nigam three point six percent up. Besides Tata Power, which gave a four percent year on year kind of number yesterday, each and every stock was up a lot in the power pack. Oil companies did pretty well. Oil India, which I sold yesterday, was up eight percent. ONGC up seven percent. Reliance today looks minuscule compared to them, point six percent only. MRPL also recovered a bit, two point five percent. This was down five percent yesterday. The sector was up two percent. Consumption pack did pretty well today also. Every stock was up. Bikaji Foods probably is getting inspired by the acquisition of Haldiram. Adani Wilmer, I mentioned few days back, it is on fire, six percent up today also. HUL in today's market was down. So was Britannia. Greed increased today, obviously, because all the stocks were up 30 percent. Autos recovered, but the recovery was nowhere close to what they lost yesterday. Varun Beverages thankfully came back 4 percent up. This stock will reach new heights, in my opinion, very soon. 1700, 1800 levels before the next quarter results are on the cards, as per me, because the summers are still on in most parts of the country. Coal India went through the roof today, 6 percent up. 52 week high is nearly here. Construction engineering was back. L N T up. R V N L, I R B, N B C. Every stock was up 4 to 5 percent. Besides Shree Cement, each and every cement company was also up. Adani Enterprise was up 3.7 percent today. Trent reversed gears 5 percent up. D Mart up 2 percent. Insurance recovered big time today. L I C was up 4 percent. Tata Technologies is back to 1000. Investment banking. Good gains in all stocks. In terms of greenery, it looks like the repeat of fifth of June day today. Look at ABB five and a half percent. Twenty percent of losses in my portfolio were just ABB. Hopefully, the portfolio will feel a little better. Siemens also up four percent. I mentioned about pharma yesterday. Pharma was up a lot today. Real estate, nearly everyone was up except Sobha. Not much buying in Kalyan Jewelers. Not much buying in Titan. Bharti down, but rest telecom players were up. Nifty eight stocks down, forty one up, but volumes were not very high in most stocks. Next fifty higher volumes were there in more stocks. However, four stocks down, forty six up. So today I averaged down on IRFC and added Cochin Shipyard back. I had sold Cochin Shipyard for a loss, and now today's price was way lower than where I sold. Nothing sold. IRFC primarily I have bought to average down. I have doubled the quantity, which which brings down the cost significantly. In this section, I'll be sharing some small nuggets of information, probably in two minutes' time. There are two types of investments which are possible in these. One is bonds issued by these companies, that is debt, and then equity. So there is one company called Fusion Finance whose results were not good, and it fell twenty percent. First, why it fell? Impairment of financial instruments. This is nothing but provisioning for bad loans. They have provisioned a heavy number ahead of bad times, three fifty crore. Compared to 119 crore in the previous quarter, year on year this number has increased from 76 crore to 350 crore. So since this company is backed by PE funds, that is why they are probably extra cautious and a bit more prudent in terms of provisioning. Small finance banks, banks which finance in the rural areas, they will actually do all this provisioning maybe next quarter 
और After 90 days have elapsed and payment has not been recovered from the customer. Note that to be classified as an NPA, customer has to be non-paying with zero EMIs paid for 90 consecutive days. I've just jumped to screener. So interest has increased continuously. Revenue is not a problem. Problem is one-time jump in expenses. That two provisions. Once people start paying back, and I'll explain why they will pay back. This expense will be reversed in future quarters, and there will be a good one-time gain recorded in those quarters. So this is the stock's performance today, 20% down. The other stock which I have in good quantity, Satin Credit Care. Uh, just after the result, the yen carry trade happened. Otherwise, it may have gone up. But after falling a lot, the stock was up 6% today. Now, why all this is happening in microfinance industry now and how will the industry recover? In each and every elections in villages, the prospective candidates go and promise the moon to all the villagers. The promise is typically your loans will be forgiven. You won't have to pay back. Also, there was a severe heat wave which may have destroyed a lot of crops. Floods have ravaged northern India and Fusion Microfinance operates a lot in the northern region. So people's livelihood gets destroyed temporarily at least. It will take one year maybe for people to recover if they have lost their say shop or cattle or something. At this stage, they need more loans or government support. There are upcoming elections in UP, Bihar. All those count. There will be more promises and the defaults will increase only temporarily. However, what happens, like I mentioned, NPA is marked after 90 days and people no longer get loans from anywhere, not just same company, but a different company also because the default is marked against their Aadhaar or PAN. Ultimately, they have to return the money somehow to the lender and get the NPA mark removed. After that only, they can take a new loan. So mostly what they do is they take whatever is outstanding from a very heavy source and they return it to the MFI and then take a new loan and then pay it back to the heavy loan person. I've seen this phenomena happening for five, six years now. This happened during Demon. This happened during pandemic. So is it time to exit microfinance stocks? I am not planning to exit. I'll probably average lower. Will they default on bonds? I have never seen any MFI default on bonds. The NPAs in the worst case also, they climb to 10 to 15%. That too over time. This is usually something that most MFIs can digest. I have not seen anyone not honor their bonds. Will I slow down on bond purchases? Maybe some companies, especially the ones in North India, they might have to give a higher coupon or they may see lower subscriptions. Thanks for watching. Let me know your feedback on this new section. I'll see you tomorrow.